Welcome to Anis Biology. In this video, we will discuss prokaryotic cells. What is prokaryotic cells? Cells that lack of membrane-bound nucleus that is called prokaryotic cells. This prokaryotic cell genetic materials free in cytoplasm. These are the prokaryotic cells are represented by bacteria, blue-green algae, mycoplasma, and pleuro-pneumonia-like organism. These monera are monera is a bacterial group of organisms. Then uh, blue-green algae. This is autotrophic photosynthetic bacteria. Then mycoplasma is the smallest living organism in this world. Then pleuro-pneumonia is a co um, disease-causing agent. This is a disease-causing bacteria. These prokaryotes mostly smaller in size and multiply rapidly than the eukaryotic cells. They may vary in shape and size. The four basic shapes of bacteria are bacillus. It is rod-like and coccus. It is spherical and vibrio is a coma shape. And final one is spiralum is a spiral shape. All prokaryotes have a cell wall surrounding the cell membrane, except in mycoplasma. The fluid matrix filling the cell is a cytoplasm. There is no well-defined nucleus. The genetic material is basically naked, not enveloped by the nuclear membrane. In addition, the genomic DNA, they are smaller circular DNA outside the GNA, genomic DNA. Outside the genomic DNA, there another small circular DNA is there that is called plasmid. The plasmid DNA confers certain unique phenotypic characters to such bacteria. One of such characters is resistant to antibiotics. In the biological biotechnology field, this plasmid play a variety of role. This plasmid in biotechnology field, they are used to transfer foreign DNA. In this prokaryotes, no membrane-bound organelles are present. They have ribosomes only. These rib ribosomes are non-membrane-bound organelles. Uh, this is help in protein synthesis. Remember these things. First one is this bacteria prokaryotes have a cell wall the next one is the prokaryotes have a ribosome they don't have a membrane bone organelles and they don't have a nuclear mem uh, nuclear membrane uh, uh, their genetic materials is free in cytoplasm there are two types of genetic material is there one is uh, genomic dna and another one is plasmid they are all circular in nature and smaller the prokaryotes prokaryotes have something different from of cell membrane called mesosome is a characteristic of prokaryotes they are essentially infolding of cell membrane okay now we'll see prokaryotic genome already i told you one is a chromosomal dna and another one is plasmid the first one is chromosomal dna this is always called nuclei it is circular double stranded piece of dna not surrounded by the nuclear membrane then second one is plasma plasma this is independent dna molecule it is small circular and independent double strand dna molecule plasmid can frequently be transmitted from one bacterium to another bacterium it is play in biotechnological field for transferring the foreign dna to desired genome desired organism okay next we will see prokaryotes how cell envelope and its modification most prokaryotic cells particularly the bacterial cell have a chemically complex cell envelope the cell envelope consists of tightly bound three layer structure the outermost layer is glycocalyx this glycocalyx 
it could be as loose sheath co it uh, loose sheath it means it is a slime layer in some while others have a thick cunt of it is called a capsule the next one is cell wall this cell wall determines the shape of the cell and provides a strong structure support to prevent the bacterium from bursting or collapsing and the third one is the plasma membrane this plasma membrane is semi permeable in nature and interacts with the outside wall this membrane is similar structurally to that of the eukaryotes these three glycocalyx cell wall and plasma membrane act as a uh, act together as a single protective unit this cell envelop a uh, manner they um, they respond in staining procedure uh, scientists developed gram positive and gram negative in this gram positive bacteria they have two things only one is peptidoglycan is a cell wall uh, then another one is plasma membrane in gram negative bacteria they have three uh, they have three cell uh, envelope one is outer membrane then another one is peptidoglycan and final one is plasma membrane no down this gram positive bacteria cell wall is thick in gram negative bacteria cell wall peptidoglycan is thin layer the special membrane membrane structure is the mesosome which is formed by the extension of plasma membrane into the cell this extension are in the form of vesicle tubules and lamellae they help in the cell wall formation during the dna replication and distribution uh, to daughter cell they play a main role they also helps in respiration secretion process to increase the surface area of the plasma membrane and enzymatic content in some prokaryotes like cyanobacteria there are other membrane extension into cytoplasm called chromatophore which contain pigment this helps uh, uh, e sorry it act as a photosynthetic uh, unit in in prokaryotes they have outer surface area they have three different structure one is flagellum and the second one is pili and the uh, final one is fimbriae this flagellum is used for uh, it's play a main role in motility but this pili and fimbriae is a surface structure do not play a role in motility but helps in attachment bacterial cells may be motile or non motile if motile they have thin filamentous extension from the cell wall called flagella bacteria shows a range in the number of uh, number number and arrangement of flagella this bacterial flagellum is composed of three parts first one is filament Uh, middle uh, hook and basal body the filament is the longest portion and extends from the cell surface to the outside besides the flagella pili pili and fimbriae are also surface structure of the bacteria but do not play a role in motility the pili or elongated tubular structure made of the special protein is mainly used in attachment during attachment they are used the next one is fimbria fim sorry fimbria this fimbria are small bristle like fibers sprouting out of the cells in some bacteria they are known to help attach the bacteria to rocks in streams and also the host tissue the next one is ribosomes in prokaryotes in prokaryotes ribosomes are associated with the plasma membrane of of the cells they are about 15 nanometer in size and are made of two subunit one is 50 um, its total uh, sub uh, ribosomes uh, is uh, um, 70 as this is made up of two subunit one is 50s and uh, 30s together form 70s they help in protosynthesis 
Several ribosomes may attach to a single mRNA and forms a chain called polyribosomes or polysomes. The ribosomes of the polysome translate the mRNA into protein. And the final one is inclusion bodies. These inclusion bodies reserve material in prokaryotic cells or stored in the cytoplasm in the form of inclusion bodies. They are not bound by any membrane system and lie free in the cytoplasm. Example, phosphate granules, cyanophagin and glyco glycogen or granules. Gas records are found in blue green algae and uh, purple and green photosynthetic bacteria. Now you know what is prokaryotes and uh, how they classified and what are the uh, internal internal structure of uh, prokaryotes uh, prokaryotes genome and uh, um, and uh, surface structures and all. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like button and subscribe my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.